The first Comic-Con to ever hit the Long Beach Convention Center was held last weekend, October 2nd through the 4th. Long Beach's Convention Center has been used for other fan conventions like Wizard World LA in its first years and Anime Expo. Unlike major conventions like the San Diego Comic Con where geek community celebs are often only at panels and then quickly whisked away, Long Beach's first con was small, intimate, and surreal. In its very first year, the convention snagged such guests as Stan Lee, Jeff Johns, Eric Roberts, J. Scott Campbell, the members of the voice cast of the Peanuts cartoons, and Pulitzer Prize winning cartoonist Berkeley Breed. Among the attendees of the convention were people dressed up as superheroes, Star Wars characters, and various other characters from comics. At the Saturday panel for the Cartoon Network show Robot Chicken, Green and Toy Wrangler Hugh Sturbakov praised Long Beach Comic Con for placing the Artist Alley section in the complete center of the dealer hall. Artist Alley is a section set aside for independent artists to sell their comics, sketches, and pieces and meet with fans while also exposing their work to new eyes. DC Comics, Aspen, Top Cow, and Boom Studios had their own Q&As with fans curious about what the companies might have in store. Fans at Boom's panel were pleased to hear the company will be reprinting classic Disney comics like The Life and Times of Scrooge McDuck. The convention's programming director, Buddy Scalera spoke proudly of Long Beach Comic Con's maiden voyage. Yeah, so hey, how you doing? I'm Buddy Scalera, director of programming for the Long Beach Comic Con this year. Uh, we put on some great panels, including Robot Chicken, Ben 10, Berkeley Breathed. Uh, there's been some pro wrestling, Mark Wade, 50 questions in 50 minutes. Some amazing stuff that's gone on here. And I'm hoping that the folks from the Daily Titan next year come out because, you know, Ashley and Christine, they were here to see it all first. And you know what? They actually got one-on-one uh, -on -one interviews with Seth Green and the whole Robot Chicken Gang. So mm -hmm. you guys are jealous. You missed out. But uh, next year, uh, next year, come. All right. Peace out. Radio TV film major Francis Skazowski was on hand for panels on professional wrestling and spoke to the Daily Titan about the Long Beach Comic Con. It's like, you know, it's not like, San, of course, not as big as San Diego Comic Con yet. It's first year. But it's kind of like they've kind of trimmed the fat, gotten away like a lot of the video game companies, a lot of the movies, and just concentrate on comics, which is good for a lot of people who are really dedicated to comic books or want to learn more about like storylines or characters. Yeah. And it's been it's been actually kind of cool to not be to not have to fight my way through like three thousand people in one little area. So it's overall it's been a pretty good experience. The Daily Titan asked Seth Green about what he thought about the Long Beach Comic Con. Yep. I thought it was good. It's small, you know, so the floor is manageable. Mm -hmm. uh, there wasn't a lot of uh, action figures for sale beyond, like, Star Wars, so, you know, mm -hmm. a little variety doesn't hurt. Seth Green also addressed the rumors about Wizard World LA not happening anymore due to the economy. Do you have any thoughts on that? I wouldn't uh, put too much stock in rumors that you hear about why things happen. It's usually something far more political and less about the economy. Thomas Jane talked about his new film, Dark Country, which he directed, as well as his first experience at the Long Beach Comic Con. Yeah, I mean, I'm enjoying the Comic Con. I'm also enjoying my, uh, my 
directorial debut and the premiere of, of my film. And the con's really nice. The Long Beach Comic Con's first year will always have a special place in the hearts of the fans who attended. Though small, it was a very successful and solid convention.